I'm Toby from Hangman Drums. Welcome to the fourth in a series of tutorials on how to play tuned metal instruments. So in the last few videos we covered different types of rolls and paradiddles. Today we'll look at the rudiments numbers 20 to 23 from the classic 40 snare drum rudiments. These are all in the flam family. The flam, the flam tap, the flam accent and the flamacue. So what is a flam? Well, this first rudiment is basically an introduction to the flam stroke. A flam is essentially a short, soft note played before the main note. You don't want to play the note too far apart, otherwise it sounds like a separate note, like this. And you don't want to play it too close together, because it's just a double tap. Now with the snare, you get the natural advantage of the rebound from the sticks. So let's go straight to the cardboard box. So here's the notation for the flam rudiment. Notice how the note and the letter are smaller, indicating that it's a shorter, softer note. Notice that it also alternates, first one hand and then the other. Listen to how it sounds. To help you visualise what we're doing, think of the clip-clop sound of a horse. Clip-clop, 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 clip-clop. I'll do it a little bit slower. And notice how I alternate both hands. You may find that one hand is easier than the other. If this is the case, a good practice is to do three with one hand and then three with the other hand. Right, 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 left, left, left. Right, 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 left, left, left. So this is what it sounds like on the tongue drum. First with just one note and then with the flam spanning two notes. So the next rudiment is the flam tap. Have a look at the notation. You'll notice it's similar to a double stroke roll with an added flam. So right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, with the flam note before each double. Here's what it's like. And now you can see how it applies to different notes on the tongue drum. Now let's look at the flam accent. This rudiment follows a left, right, left, right, left, right pattern. Take a look at the notation. As you can see, it's basically triplets with a flam in front of each. To make it easier, we can count it as flam two, three, flam two, three, flam two, three, flam two, three. On the box, it looks like this. Remember to alternate your starting hand for each triplet, which, if you count the flam, is actually four strokes alternating left and right. I'll play it super slow just to make the point. Flam two three, 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 flam two three. And here's how the flam accent sounds on the notes. So the last rudiment we'll look at today is called the flamacue. Interesting name. The best way to describe it is as a single stroke five with the flam on the start and end note. Take a look at the notation. We can count this as flam two, three, four, flam. 
flam, two, three, four, flam. Notice the first and second flam start with the right and the third and fourth flam start with the left. Okay, so here it is slow. Now to begin with, it's easy to practice starting with just the right hand. and then switch over to the left hand. Then you can put them together into the flammer cue. So here's what the flamacue sounds like on the tongue drum. I hope you enjoy playing these flam patterns. Now rudiments 24 to 29 are just more variations of patterns with flam, such as the flam paradiddle and the patafla fla. If you are interested in these, check out the rudiments link in the description below. So that's it for this video. Remember, when you practice, check the notation to make sure you're following the correct hands and I'll see you in the next tutorial. You did a good job of making it to the end. Check out our other videos or visit our website. The link is in the description below. And remember, stay tuned.